Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryda Matsuro and we're here with another Grand Theft Audio V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to go and get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about how to install add-on pads inside your Grand Theft Auto V game. So I have got a request from someone and these people have been telling me how to install add-on pads. Now just to let you guys know I have been making multiple videos on how to install add-on pads and even map editor. So guys I want you to listen very very carefully okay guys I do not want to keep repeating myself about how to install add-on pads all the damn time so i really really want you guys to listen very carefully because i do not want to make this video again this is like the fifth video i have made for add-on pads this year so guys make sure you guys do listen very carefully because i'm only gonna say it once okay guys so make sure you guys download and install all the requirements in some of the description make sure you guys do that now and make sure you guys install all the requirements first. Make sure that your OpenIV is connected to your GTAV folder as well. Once you guys have finished with that, go to this mod over here. I will leave this mod in some of the description so you guys can download it. I have already downloaded the mod so I don't need to do it. These a lot of people have been saying how to install it. So I like this guy over here. He said, friends, help me. When I enter the game, I press L key, then nothing appears. So, we are going to fix that, okay? This is a fix L button. Once you guys have downloaded and installed all the requirements, then go to your Grand Theft Auto V game. Step 1. Go to your Grand Theft Auto V game. Step 2. Right click and open file location now step three go into your mods folder then go into your update folder then go to your times six four folder and then go into your dlc packs folder once you guys are inside your dlc packs folder there will be a few folders already in there go to your add-on pins extract folder which is this one over here and then drag it on towards the side now the next step we are going to do is go into your drc packs folder inside your extract folder and then now click once on your add-on pins folder and, and then now hold on to it and then drag it onto your drc packs folder on your computer now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V game over here and then go back to your extract folder and go back once now do not install anything from this script folder do not install anything inside this folder okay leave it okay guys now click on add on peds editor.exe and go to your keyboard and push control C T R L down the bottom on your left hand corner on your keyboard and then go to add on peds vast.xml and click on that file and then drag both files onto your GTAV main directory also known as the main folder once you guys have completed that go to your readme.html folder and then scroll down just a little bit guys and you'll see a code here make sure you copy the full code okay all of it and copy it and then exit out of there guys once you have, guys have finished exit out of your extract folder and then right click on your gtav folder and refresh your folder 
and then exit out of your Grand Theft Auto V game folder. Now come down to your Open IV. Click on your Open IV. Now go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows. Now guys, here's the next step we are going to do. Now go to your edit mode over here. It's right on top over here guys. Edit mode. Click on edit mode. And application will come up. Just click yes. Now, all you guys gotta do next, okay, is make sure that when you go to tools, ASI manager, make sure that the ASI loader Open IV.ASI and open camera is all installed. Now go to your mod folder, go to update folder, go to update.rpf file, go to your common folder, go to your data folder. Now, guys, over here is tricky, okay? Scroll right down the bottom to the end, okay, over here. And then now find DLCList.XML. Remember guys, it's DLCList.XML. And it's right over here. Click on it once, right click, and then go over here to edit. Scroll right down the bottom guys. And then now click on the last code onto the side. Okay, like this guys. Look, look very carefully guys. I click over here once. Then I press enter and then I go on my keyboard on my left hand side. I push control C T R L and I push V V for volcano. Okay guys. And then uh, I paste my code right there. Go to save and then go back to your DRC list.xml and scroll right down the bottom guys. Double check to see if your code is there, and yes it is. Exit out of your application, click on edit mode, click on GTA V, then exit out of your open IV. Now, once you guys have finished with your open IV, okay, now the next step we are going to do, okay, that everybody is getting stuck with, is the L button. Now go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, right click, open file location now go into your scripts folder now make sure that you are using the latest native UI DLL file now go into your peer selector okay guys I will leave this inside my description okay go to the peer selector extract folder okay and then go to peer selector and then click on peer selector DLL and drag it into your script folder now guys remember okay this peer selector is not the add-on peer selector okay so guys make sure you click on the peer selector inside my downloads okay and download that peer selector okay guys do not put the peer selector from the add-on peer extract folder inside your script folder okay guys because that peer selector has a bug in it okay guys once you guys have finished with that then exit out of your peer selector extract folder and then go back to your gta v main directory right click and refresh the folder and then exit out of your game folder guys and then right click on your desktop and refresh your desktop guys and i will see you guys in the game now guys welcome back we're here with franklin and now we are going to go and show you guys that the peer selector does work. Now everybody has been saying that the L button doesn't work. So we are going to test it right now. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And here goes the L button guys. See guys, it does work okay. I do have a peer in there but it is on another folder. Okay guys, so see guys, it does work okay. See, the adult peer does work okay. So guys, I hope you guys do follow the tutorial, okay guys? It is really easy, guys. It's simple and easy on how to install and appears. You just got to know one thing, guys, okay? You just have to know one thing. Make sure that you have the native UI, the latest version, okay? And make sure you have the peer selector 
.dll file from my description inside my downloads. Okay, guys, do not install the peer selector inside this folder. Okay, guys, do not install them. Make sure you go to my downloads inside my description and then download this peer selector and then now install this peer selector inside your script folder. Okay, guys, make sure you guys do that and then your L button will work. Okay, guys, but if you guys are still stuck, okay, then let me know inside my description. I am more than welcome to help you guys out with your mods. Or if you guys are stuck with other mods, then I'm more than welcome to help you guys out. This channel is all about helping people out with their mods. I do upload daily GTA V to our PC tutorials too. I do PC tutorials for YouTube tutorials and even GTA V modding tutorials too. So guys, with that all said, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys did, then smash that like button and subscribe if you guys are new here. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace and I'm out.